Um, could I just uh, firstly ask if your the immediate your immediate reactions on the the report and recommendations uh, and the findings of the care inquiries report? Well, the overwhelming, uh, important, the overwhelmingly important uh, issue, Neil, I think, was the fact that the survivors and the victims were totally and completely uh, vindicated, and that their courage was recognised. The courage they had to come forward first to the police investigation, and then to give evidence all over again to the committee of inquiry. And I think that is the standout point of the whole committee report, and that must be recognised uh, straight away. I think. So, uh, and that. That respect, it was a success. If, if for nothing else, the victims and survivors. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I feel it was total vindication for the survivors and the victims, and uh, total acceptance of uh, what they had said, and that the suffering that they endured was uh, recognised and was made public at long last. Um, you must also be feeling a. a a little bit vindicated for, for Operation Rectangle. Um, the, Metropolitan, the Metropolitan Police described Rectangle um, as a glowing example of how this type of investigation should be conducted. The Care Inquiry said it was a professional, uh, diligent um, inquiry, despite all the bad, every, uh, the people over here in the media over here saying it was a mess, it was a, it, you know, Rectangle got a lot of bad press over here, but now not only the Metropolitan Police, but the care inquiry have vindicated Rectangle? Well, yes, I mean, the the, um, the, the, the important thing about that, though, was that I always knew that the the criticisms and the, uh, the, the, the welter of abuse that uh, myself and the investigation were getting was always coming from people with an agenda, and that agenda was to hurt the victims, and the best way to hurt the victims and to try and stop the story from becoming widely known and accepted was to attack the, those who were trying to investigate it. And that, I always knew that that was the case. And I never felt that, to be honest, that the majority of people in Jersey believed half of what they read or heard uh, about the criticism of the investigation. Because even when not in Jersey, you know, in places like Manchester and even in Italy, I had people coming up to me. <laughs> it's a small world. People coming up and saying, uh, that they were from Jersey and that uh, they believed in what we were doing, they believed in the victims. So uh, I always knew that those criticising us in that way had an agenda, and that agenda was to get at the victims. And thankfully, uh, the uh, the inquiry's report has totally demolished uh, the platform that they stood on. Do you know, uh, I was um, interviewing um, former Chief Officer Graham Power, and do you know what he said? And I don't know what you think of it. He said to me, do you know what, even if it was a bad investigation, which it wasn't, it's official, you know, even if it was a bad investigation, he said, it was an investigation. We investigated. Yes. Uh, yeah, and that, and that, I think, sums it up. He's absolutely correct. Uh, we did investigate it. There were investigations previously, uh, and I'd go on to decry the uh, attempts that one or two police officers made earlier on, uh, but this was the first investigation to seriously listen at a, at a higher level uh, to the allegations made by the survivors before one or two lower level police officers uh, took, took on board what survivors were saying. But this was the first one that coordinated the responses from the uh, survivors and truly believed in what they were saying. Yeah. Um, okay. And also, just getting back to the uh, the inquiry's report now, it said, um, because that one of its terms of reference was looking into was their political interference, and, they, and the, the inquiry found that um, the majority of uh, politicians um, did not try and impede the investig uh, in, impede rectangle. Yes, I found that a little bit, uh, a little bit odd, and, and I found that it actually asked the question that it didn't answer. If a majority of politicians uh, did not attempt to interfere with Rectangle, and I wouldn't argue with that, the majority of politicians didn't attempt to uh, interfere. It was a minority that attempted to uh, interfere. And the Committee of Inquiry agreed with that, that the majority didn't. So therefore, you know, the inquiry really then should have been looking at, well, how sizable was the minority that did try to impede the investigation? Who were those people? What did they do, and what effect did it have on the investigation and the perception of the investigation? And and that question wasn't answered, and I I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, apart from the uh, 
uh, the, the, the questions surrounding Andrew Lewis and Philip Balash uh, and the respective comments made by the committee in respect of that. But in, 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 as far as the uh, minority of politicians who quite clearly did attempt to interfere uh, with the investigation, that didn't answer that question. And, and I also find it a, a, a little bit odd that the government of Jersey, in respect of their children uh, in, in care, in, in respect of the policies and their, their policies for looking after children entrusted to their care, the Jersey government was condemned outright uh, by the Committee of Inquiry, found that they had no political will, they had no wish to tackle issues, they ignored issues when they were reported to, and they treated children who were being terrorised, I think was the word that the committee used, they treated them with contempt. The government was roundly condemned as a unit, and yet all of the major players in that government were more or less exonerated of any wrongdoing, intentional wrongdoing, by the committee. I find, find that very, very odd. So you, you made the decision not to engage with the local mainstream media in Jersey, a decision um, backed up and uh, supported by former Chief Officer Graham Power, who was, who was scathing on our local mainstream media. Um, in fairness, some of it has been, well, not as bad as it used to be, shall we say, just recently. Uh, do you stand by your decision not to talk to the mainstream media? Well, yes, I do. Uh, you know, the reasons are well documented. I won't go into them all again. The reasons are very, very well documented. Evidence was produced to them and it was totally ignored and they just kept on going through the same old uh, round, on the same old roundabout as they always did. I don't need to give examples. I've given them all before. I would say something, they would report it and a week later they would say I said something else. So, and even after the inquiry, even after the inquiry reported, uh, one of the Jersey uh, outlets were ringing me up. They didn't want to talk about the fact that a senior minister had been accused of lying to the states and to the uh, uh, committee. They didn't want to talk about speech. They didn't want to talk about the abuse and the terrorised children or the abuse that the children suffered. They wanted to ask me how I felt about the fact that um, uh, the committee had uh, said that prosecution decisions had in fact been made correctly and that uh, most politicians hadn't uh, tried to interfere with the uh, inquiry. I mean, these are, you know, apart from the fact that that, that didn't go the way of the Jersey government either, they, these were minor issues compared to the terrorised uh, uh, the conduct, the terrorising conduct that the children were being put through. And, and, and that made me just reflect more than ever that I was absolutely correct not to talk to them. Yeah. Um... That's what, okay, so is there anything else uh, that I haven't asked you that you wanted to um, discuss? No, I, I just think that, you know, we, we cannot often enough pay tribute to the courage of those uh, survivors who, on the very difficult circumstances, came forward to tell their stories, first to our investigation, and then probably even more of an ordeal, uh, to the Committee of Inquiry, and I think it's just absolutely brilliant that they have been vindicated and that they have got the recognition they deserve.